What's up guys, I'm kind of feeling like a special day today, so I should be getting pretty close to 141, maybe tomorrow I'll get it, I don't think I'll be able to get it today just because it's getting a lot to be a lot of experience now, it, it doesn't actually feel that bad to level up though, I used to think that grinding all the way to 140 or even 150 was just you know a ridiculous amount of time, but it seems like I can get 145 within maybe a few weeks and then you know it's pretty much the road to 150. I don't plan on reincarnating my main until I hit at least 150, then I could do it a second time. Just because you never you never know. Honestly, there there's a lot of rumored future updates. And one of them is supposed to be the sixth reincarnation, which is finally when the game is actually gonna take shape and change your main character from being a basic bitch to becoming overpowered. So at about sixth reincarnation, that's pretty much when the main is actually going to go undergo a I would say a serious transformation, kind of like how Naruto has a reincarnation system, so they're going to get a different particle effect, different look, as well as different skills, but, you know, this feature is still going to be a very long time before it's implemented, and who knows, you know, they might change it, once again, I heard rumors of that's how it's supposed to be, that's why there's a palace, or a Sarate palace for 165, as well as 175, and I messed up my daily task big time i've been really messing it up recently like i don't even know what's been going on with me anymore but i am messing up my daily task like every other day i just basically can't get 150 points and it's not a big deal to get shinso again um i still have to wait anyway because i'm going for the 300 contract way in legend gallery this way i can get ryu manu kaku just in case i ever get a ginger boy uh, i don't think i'll ever get a tsi and I just noticed that I have 17 more days until I get 180 days sign in. I can't remember what I get from them. I'm gonna have to check the wiki again. Um, but yeah, as far as today goes, I will be getting my cultivation bar filled up again. I don't even remember how many times I did it now. I think this is gonna be my fifth or sixth time getting it filled up. I think it's gonna be fifth. It could be sixth. I think it's fifth. I did all the personal boxes and I did exclusive frags one time so this should be the fifth one um also for those of you who care i am starting the naruto online the official host that oasis games has created and i started on angels uh 50 or uh, wow i started on server 59 and it's by uh, it's called conan like angel conan it's pretty much on the uh, new york the new york side of things so for those of you who are wanting to start Naruto Online and just play with me, I started really late on the same day, so you're not going to see a Naruto Online video for a while. I'm still basically getting used to the game, I still have to catch up because while I'm recording it, it's still before reset, so I'm going to try to get myself a little bit higher. I'm going to have to buy myself some more stamina because since I missed out on the events and missed out on the free stamina, I'm a couple levels behind everybody else. Most of the good players are basically level 28. And I'm still in a, almost 22, so I have a lot of catching up to do. Um, I don't know how far, how much further I can go, but I will pretty much have to buy some stamina back, and I'll just see what happens. You know, overall, like as far as what I have to say about that game is that it's really well done. We really need official hosts. This way, we can always stop worrying about you know what happens if this game closes because it's not official. They like you have to realize that. A majority of the browser games that we play, the companies have a license agreement from the from pretty much from the anime itself, the anime creators themselves, that they are allowed to make their game and pretty much you know host it, do whatever they want, as long as it like sticks to you know the franchise. So the fact that Naruto Online has is the official host. There's also like Anime Ninja, Joy Fun, Ninja Classic. They all have licenses from Naruto itself. But, you know, it's the first time where, you know, the creators of Naruto are actually getting somebody to make a game for them. And they're pretty much going to back it up 100%. These games obviously are not backed up by the anime creators or the companies that own the, the name. or you, you, you know what I'm going. It's just a lot of legal shit they have to deal with. It's a lot of legal stuff. So, the day they make a Bleach, uh, you know... If they ever make a Bleach host that is 100% backed, I mean, imagine if fucking Shonen Jump actually like backed up an official Bleach game. Like that would be some legit shit right there. I would sign up day one, play server one. Wouldn't even care. Like that would be my my best game I could ever play. But you know the Naruto one, I really like it a lot. 
Um, the, the development of the game is actually amazing. The graphics, you know, pretty amazing features. They, they spent a lot of time into it. And you're going to have all the ninjas in the game just because they have the license to. So it's going to pretty much follow the anime all the way from Naruto to Shippuden. And I think it's going to be amazing in the long run because Naruto has a ton of episodes. The manga is one of the longest mangas you could ever read. So there's going to be a ton of great things to expect. And that's pretty much all I have to say. But you guys can probably expect a Naruto online video maybe around, I would say, Wednesday, Thursday-ish. Just until I can get my uh, account set up properly. Because I could upload a video today, but, you know, I'm way, I'm way lower level than everybody else. Still trying to figure out the kinks in the game. But enough of that. So I was going to start my bug report spreadsheet today. Honestly, I had just had no time. I was running around doing errands, preparing stuff. Then I tried to do some competitive games in Counter-Strike. And it, it kind of like literally just made my life feel like shit when you just get dicked on. <laughs> like Honestly, I, I, I admit I am not a good CSGO player. But I would say that I'm pretty much an average player. So, I played the game about a year ago. And a year ago, everything seemed fine. You had less smurfs. You had less cheaters. You even had... You, you basically played against people the same rank. I don't know why they decided to implement a level system. And then pretty much enforce everyone to get reset. And then have like some new bullshit matchmaking. Plus, you can't even get the prime matchmaking... Which is supposed to make it so you face less cheaters and whatever smurfs and all this kind of shit. But by the time you reach level 21 anyway, you're gonna, you're gonna have to be a fucking pro at the game. I mean, that's some serious amount of hours you're gonna have to put in. And we played three comps today with my friends and we just got like, we just got literally fucking raped. There's no description, alright? We got molested. It felt bad. It was worse than prison rape. It was very bad. Like, I just don't even want to talk about it. I lost my will to fight after those three comps like like you don't even play, like I just don't expect to win comps anymore I play to lose that's basically it um, I still like Counter-Strike I like seeing how professionals play but man I don't even know how these guys could be so fucking good at the game uh, by far Counter-Strike is probably one of the hardest shooting games you can ever play it is just pretty I would like to say it's built on realism even though you know like some like not all aspects of the game are realistic. You can't do half the shit you can do to see go real life. But you know what I'm saying. It's not like your typical standard bullshit Call of Duty or like your semi-realistic Battlefield type game. It's a very intense shooting game. And, you know, I'm just going to keep playing. You know, you, you have to just basically get better at the game to achieve things. So that's what I'm going to try to do. Um, I'll play CSGO in my spare time. But officially today, I will be starting a spreadsheet. I will be going through the forum post I made, as well as the YouTube comments on my first video, and the chat room in my Discord. So there's three different places to look for. Then after I make the list, basically I'll be taking my time. I will be taking my time uh, throughout this entire week. So basically, like, go on this, for instance, if it would load. That's a bug right there. Report that shit. It takes too long. So basically, I'll be looking at this screen, and I will literally be reading the fine print and everything so like the minor the minor suggestion here is that they should just make I don't know why they can't make it where all the text actually fits in the box like the text here is outside of the box same for here it cuts out a little bit why can't they just like do simple stuff honestly um same for these like the module names are pretty much cut off you could see the for the beginning of it which is all that really matters so I don't know if I would really like report minor bugs. I was I was asked if I could like you know make the bugs in a matter of importance, but it's kind of important to fix them all, don't you think? Plus there's gonna be an insane amount of bugs. I would say that my list is gonna be at about a hundred right now, and by the time I actually submit the list, it's gonna be at probably two hundred. So it's it's pretty crazy, I would say. Um, my Namaya needs two more levels, and my Renji needs three. Now the only reason why I'm not reincarnating Namaya. Is because I actually think I would give him my 140 set. Now Hikifuni could obviously use the extra speed, but can you imagine the the battle point, like the battle power boost that Amaya would get for having a 140 set? It would kind of be, 
it would still balance out because Hiki would have the 140 and he would take the 130. And then Balsack would take the 120, but the goal is to replace Balsack and get Hikifune with a 6th mod, you know what I'm saying? That would be something. Uh, so we did our daily right there. I will be saving Soul Cultivation for last, and another thing I forgot to do was at least say that if you're playing the Brazilian version, I think you have the beauty game one click now, where if as long as you're a certain VIP, some people that are like VIP 5 are able to do it on Brazil, I'm not sure about that, and you just need Shinigami agents, so at least VIP 5 on US though, on Go games it's VIP 6 as well as Shinigami agent, on Brazil they probably made it a little bit less, uh, harder. Or, you know, a less of a requirement. But there is uh, a lot of things to say. So, I don't know, just things that I find interesting. You know, I could be a typical guy who just talks about the game all day long. But, you know, I'm not into vlogs and shit. But I don't mind sharing stories of, or things that I'm working on or things that I'm doing. So, yeah, another thing is I am pretty much almost done rewatching Dragon Ball Z. I'm on like episode 275 and I think it ends at like 290 something. Then I'm gonna watch GT and I think then I'm gonna go on Super. So I was supposed to watch the original Dragon Ball, but like honestly after after like maybe 40 episodes in, I just really didn't want to watch another 80 episodes of shit that is just basically gonna be slowly building up. Plus like Dragon Ball Z is just a hundred times better than Dragon Ball, but Dragon Ball is just extremely nostalgic. So. Even though I like them both, you know, you just don't have the time to do it all. And I'd rather watch different animes. I would honestly rather watch Super than try to finish Dragon Ball and then go into stuff. But, uh, wait, today's the last day, so that means the equipment set was yesterday and I probably missed it. Should have probably addressed that, but you could get yourself a tier 12 Hogu now. Um, right then should have the new events announced on the forums, probably at the same time you're watching the video. Maybe a little bit earlier, you know, I usually try to schedule my videos to be uploaded at noon, my time. But this Vitality stacking feels great, honestly. It just feels good not doing evolutions. There is a ton of bugs in evolutions, honestly. A ton of bugs with evolutions. For instance, some items, like the, the Quincy Bolt, man, it has two names. There's a purple version and a gold version of that. Like, these are some things that just have to get changed. It's, it honestly hurts me to see... The game, it's like, it's been out for pretty much two and a half years now, probably. About two and a half years. It came out, like, what, 2014? Sometime around spring. So, yeah, two and a half years. And there's so much shit that's fucked up with the game. And the problem is that you just can't tell any, you can't tell the right person to fix it. So, I mean, in the end, it just really falls on the developers themselves for not trying to reach out to the community and caring. But what can you do? So... Uh, forgot to do alliance campaigns. Another thing I should tell everybody is don't forget today is void region, and it kind of bites me in the ass right now. So, attack buffs, or attack buffs, or whatever. Yeah, the, the allies that give attack buffs. So, this is um, like obviously Resurrection Yokura. Then you have Tashira, which I think this is the Vanguard version. Suzabi Marenji from Sashi War Powers, and then they have fucking Nozarashi, man. So for so like I have been procrastinating Hokomundo attack for at least a month and a half. I think I could have gotten Nozarashi by now. And if I had Nozarashi in my formation, I would have probably replaced Ichibei, then would have had a twenty five percent buff. But no. I got lazy, I procrastinated, and I don't have shit. I'm still six hundred coupons away from Nozarashi, so I'm not gonna get him for like at least a month and a half if I started doing Hokomundo. And I'm getting Soul of Conquest, which isn't bad. It's a, it's better than Reincarnation Frags, but it's still not that good. We got Grimjow, so it's going to be interesting. Grimjow and the Spadas, and then, well, you got Tosin, Gin, and Aizen, but still. You get, you get my point. Um, damn, I just realized I forgot to do Conquest of Might yesterday. Um, shit, yeah, I've been forgetting to do Conquest of Might recently is because... Sometimes when you get up to the last part, they have a defensive buff, and basically, unless you refresh it, Demon Ichigo can't do it. So I just realized that, like, I think for the past two days, I forgot to f go back and finish it the next day. But, then again, it's my problem. Um, so Dragon Ball Z is almost done. Then I'll probably watch GT just because it's like 60 episodes, and I never saw GT before, so it's going to be actually something new. 
Um, and then I could actually witness the Gogeta thing without actually going through like YouTube clips of it. So I'll watch GT and then I'll go straight into Dragon Ball Super. Now I still have to grind Doken Battle to get that Agility Gohan maxed out. I did forget about him. I pretty much only did the physical one. And right now I'm pretty much towards the end of the Buu Saga in uh, Dragon Ball Z. Where Vegeta and Goku are inside the body of Buu and they're fighting him and trying to free everybody and all that stuff. But anyway, um, ton of equipments. I have these 140 accessories that I still have to you know, start changing out slowly. Just making space. Oh yeah, I forgot the one time I actually did trials. So like, what a real savage will do is just sell all this shit. Which I probably should because I really don't think I'm going to ever do trials again. But first I'll check on my other hogus. Uh, in the temporary we don't have anything important, do we? So, a thousand exclusive frags. Like, I kept looking at this so many times. And after the spirit stone boxes, the only things worth getting are the red hogyoku fragments. Almighty modifies, like, I would say they're worth it, but at the same time they're really not. Because 200 for a month of work of cultivation. If you were to inherit Harry Bell, she has about like 37 days to fully inherit. You get 500 frags from that alone. So, I mean, one more week after 30 days, you might as well just wait for Harry Bell. Like, so there's no point in getting modifies just because of inherit. Hokyoko pills are good. I mean, 30 pills is. Ba I mean, uh, 300 Hokyoko uh, pill fragments is basically 30 pills. And you get usually like 20 fragments a day, so it's two pills every day. But if you think about it, you're spending a month's work to get 15 days of pills, which is really not worth it. So, a Red Hulk Gyokus, I would say, is worth it since you only get them from topping up or spending gold. You really don't get them for free. So, there's a chance. Mod Soul Chest, they should have made this a lot higher. They should have let you get like at least two, like 200 pills or something. Or maybe even 300 pills a month because then it would actually be worth it. You'd actually be able to get homes faster. Bond skills need to get out of here. They need to get the fuck out of there. I mean, I get 400 every time I do a free chance because I did like 20 stars. So, yeah. And then Soul Conquest is also needs to get the fuck out. A month's work for 200. Y'all are tripping. Sockets are really good, but I think they should allow you to get universal socket stones here instead of grouping it by levels honestly like that's kind of some scumbag shit that really is but and then this this thing needs to get the fuck out like, i don't know anybody who does um main evolution like that but pretty much the only thing is worth spending is for the partners the spirit stone boxes the exclusives the red hogyoku fragment that's pretty much all i can really suggest and then sockets if you're on the og lifestyle so there you have it but now I will be getting I have I never even got any extra exclusive fragments like seen everybody get what is it called? Um I've seen people get like four hundred fragments, all this kind of crazy shit. And then there's me not getting anything after five months or six months. So we're gonna get another thousand exclusives and this sadly enough just gets me like two exclusive levels for Tiki Fone. Yeah, I know. What a shocker. It's pretty bad. But in the end, that's two levels I didn't have, and I'm a speed horse, so I need it. It's gonna suck when I fully and like inherit her though, because then I'm gonna lose out on so much stuff. And honestly, I'm just like, I'm just not looking forward to making my spreadsheets because it's bad enough I have to do a bug list and make them detailed and everything so they can understand what's happening with the game. I have to also make a suggestions list. Not that I expect them to do anything, but it's just something for them to consider. Like they need to, they need to get a list of suggestions as well as a way of bugs and how to fix them. Just because we want them to improve the game, even if they did fix all the bugs in the game, there's still some things they can make better and just basically make the community happier. So that's another thing I want to focus on. Um, but yeah, we have a thousand three hundred fragments in total, and let's see. So Hikifune will get them. Should get her maybe three levels actually. So we get her to level 30 exclusive. Then we get her... Yeah, so the, the growth rate goes up again at 40. So we got her level 32 exclusive, which is actually a ton of speed. It's uh, 1,400 per level. So let's just get it. 3.5 million battle power as well. 
791k speed. Like, if only I could have the boots infused, could probably go easily over to 800k. I'm trying to remember, did I even do CSB today? Fuck. I think I actually missed a bunch of stuff. And it's just because I had a really busy day. Yeah, I actually think I missed it. So, the boots are now level 19 infused. Should take two more days before I actually get them level 20. And then I'll be working on the rune. Then the belt. Then I would say go for the physical armor just because she's a support. But it's a support meta, so I might just go for that. But, all in all, you know, it's uh, let's see what her speed jumped up to now. 796k, so it's getting closer, but still no cigar. Um, accessories, though. Maybe I can uh, level up something. No, I didn't do a last campaign either. So I missed a lot of stuff. I missed a lot of stuff. But I want to end the video here, guys. Uh, I said what I have to say. I'm trying to keep it shorter. I have other things to do as well as before I go to bed. But I will bring you guys... Maybe a second video today. I'm not, I don't want to make a promise. Maybe I'll bring a second video today. Shortly in the afternoon. Maybe around the time of Evil Spirits. But, um... Yeah, guys. Thank you for watching. And if I don't bring you a video later today, I'll see you guys Wednesday.